Hello everyone, it's Scott Omato and this is another video in a tutorial series on the application Multi-MC which is a sleek and powerful launcher for Minecraft. In this video guys we're going to show you how to add instances, probably the most basic operation that you'll do in Multi-MC and the most important. An instance is basically a version of Minecraft and then if you add mods to it and what have you it becomes a mod pack. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, you have an add instance button up here in the top left hand corner or you could also right click anywhere in the window here or the window background and choose create instance uh, the same thing uh, it gives you different options to get it when you do so a new window will pop up here the top of the window you're able to select an icon for your mod pack uh, you're able to give your mod pack a name and put it in a group now if you don't have any groups currently then typing in here and hitting OK will add a new group of that name, right? And here along the section, here along the side, there's various sections uh, that you can do different operations with. The vanilla section will allow you to install vanilla versions of Minecraft. Um, the FTB section will allow you to install FTB mod packs and third party mod packs hosted on FTB, as well as add some private packs inside of here. Okay, uh, then the import from zip allows you to import CurseForge uh, stuff and stuff that you've exported from Twitch or what have you, or add local mod packs that, that people have transferred to you. Um, and there, I have more detailed videos on that. Okay, and then the Technic area is under construction. So at this time, if you wanna add Technic stuff, then you would do need to do it manually and I'll make a future video about that. Okay, so here in the vanilla section, that's probably the most important one and that you'll use as a basis for creating your own mod packs. Um, you'll notice that there is a filtering area alongside. Here is a list of all of the release versions because by default, uh, the list is filtered for releases. Now, if I uncheck that, then every version of Minecraft available for Mojang uh, will be shown, okay? Uh, now you can also filter for snapshots, which are development versions of Minecraft and you can always see the latest snapshot at the top of the list. All right, uh, you can also filter for betas, which would only show you the beta versions of Minecraft, for instance, beta 1.7, 0.3, or you could look at the alpha versions, okay? And install any of those from this window. Normally, you, if you're gonna play modern Minecraft, then you'll just want the default releases, and notice that the latest release has a star beside it of it, and it is the by default selected. Okay, so let's say we're gonna install uh, the latest version, which now is 1.13.2. Uh, we can give our my pack a name. You can see it based on what we uh, get. It'll tell us that's going to be the name for it. So this grayed out area is telling us that is going to be the name. If we don't change it, of course, we can uh, change it how we want. So I'm just going to name it, for instance, aquatic update. Uh, and then for the group, I could go ahead and add 1.13.2 as a group. And then once I do so, uh, it'll go ahead and create that. So to install of it, to install the instance, all you have to do is hit OK, and it'll put it there. And you can see it created a new group, put an icon out there. And then once we launch by double clicking, it will pull down all the necessary files from the Mojang servers and install your version of Minecraft. And at that time, you could go ahead and create mods. And we'll do future videos on that, but that's going to be the basis for this video of how to install instances in MultiMC. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.